upset things. Right. Not relocation in the sense that we're trying to leave Joliet to go to uh, uh, Lexington, Kentucky. I don't know. I hope you know. You know, <laughs> or 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 to uh, Naples, Florida. You know, you know, or well, I don't know. Whatever your preferred location is, it's not about us trying to look for a, lo a location. You know, migration is simply us choosing to cooperate with what the Spirit of God wants to take us to. Amen. 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 If I was able to conceptualize. All the last eight or nine previous before the last eight, <laughs> when we set the precipice for what the definition is, and I believe God want us to migrate. He want us to move forward. That's what it means. Yes, he wants us to transition. And if you're going to move forward, if you're going to migrate, if you're going to transition. It's one word we don't like: change. Yeah, my God. You gotta change. I mean, you, know, you can go from state to state, from city to city, from county to county, and never change. And all you did was change your address. But you didn't change the person who God called you to be. And I, I don't know about you, but I, I, I've gotten enough glimpses in scriptures, I've had enough prophetic ministry spoken over my life. And it's really enticing me to change. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We got to speak a word to you. Yes, yes, My goodness. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Remember I told you the prophetic words are coming preview, preview of the coming attraction. It's a snapshot. Somebody prophesied. It's a snapshot of what God says concerning your life. Yes, sir. I mean, sometimes you need a snapshot. Yes, we don't have, sometimes you don't have a whole book. You don't have a full story. Just enough to incent, enough to give you the incentive to say, you know what, I've been at this place too long. And that is why we decided to camp out and look through the lens, a prophetic lens, at the life of Abraham. Abraham sets the backdrop for all believers. Because uh, according to Galatians 3, we're Abraham's seed. Amen. Right? Amen. And so we looked at Genesis 11. And we found out that Terah originally had the call to go to Canaan. He didn't make it. He stopped in Haran. And all of that, me, I can't rehash all that and reiterate it and bring it all up because I get off track. So, mm -hmm. But you have to go through my videos on YouTube to find out the conversation, the full conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then it brought us all the way to uh, Genesis 12, 12 and 1. This is kind of turned a little bit, huh? Yeah, a lot of it. Somebody was trying to, uh, oh, somebody over here really trying to get it all information. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody over here greedy. <laughs> oh, who was that over there? Greedy. <laughs> uh, did I do something? Uh oh, okay. Yeah, Genesis 12. Genesis 12. Everybody got Genesis 12 in your Bible or on your electronic device? Yeah, yeah. Follow us. Follow us. Let's go and see. What is the word of the Lord concerning yes. us okay. and how we can make some adjustments? Yes. I mean, oh, we've got part of, and that's the word I left off. If we're going to change, you've got to make adjustments. Yes, Lord. So it says, uh, now the Lord said unto Abram, I'm going to go to my Bible because I, I still kind of a little crooked there. Now the Lord said unto Abram, get thee out of the country. Mm -hmm. Right? Thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show you. Powerful. I don't know if you understand. The land I will show you. And it's just not just your atypical, legalistic uh, read of scriptures and say a land he wants to show us. And I told you, there's a land he wants to show us. And in scriptures, I'm going to help you out. Kind of condense it a little bit and make the word of God come alive. When you read land, look at assignment. Yes, God. Yes, God. There's an assignment he wanted to show him. There is a purpose, a destiny he wanted to show him. See, I, you got to leave some things to see some things. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's good. Amen. Amen. You got to disconnect from some things to possess some things. Sometimes, sometimes God has to separate you to educate you. Yes. 
So he has to disconnect you to some ties. And then he has to educate you about the land or the place or the destiny he has for you. And that's why we have Abraham and some other places we're going to go through so we can kind of navigate through life and have enough of conviction in our heart that when I, from now on, I, I don't have to like uh, to be tossed to and fro. Yeah. I do. I can have an anchor mm -hmm. to my soul. The word is my anchor. Yeah. Anybody want? Yeah. 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 The word is what my anchor to my soul. Yes. So he he came out and 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 you know and then verse uh, what's the next verse uh, uh, two? He said, "I will make thee a great nation. I will bless thee, and I will." Make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And truly, yeah. that's why we're Abraham's seed. Yeah. That's why he can take Gentiles, people, a whole different ethnos, a whole different ethnic background, yeah. and incorporate us yes, into the commonwealth of Israel. Sir. Yes, God. Amen. And truly, we are... A, a, a part of the blessing, the, they call it the Abrahamic blessing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Most of us like the curse part because you know we got some adversaries and some people that don't like us. So you know we can cleave to that scripture and say, you know what, I'm gonna curse them. You know, and that I'm gonna bless them that bless you, and I'm gonna curse them that curse you. You know, Pentecostal folks, that's how we are. You know, we mean as snakes sometimes. We we like to shout and dance from time to time, but we like to you know, we, we're, we're people of retribution. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Get him, <them>, God. <laughs> we like scriptures like vengeance is mine, says the Lord. <laughs> we know more about the vengeance of God than the mercies of God. Yeah. Anywho, don't worry about it. But we, instead of trying to bore you with a long drawn out, I took a snapshot from uh, this chapter 12, all the way to 22. I gleaned seven principles. Mm -hmm. And so the last couple of times we looked at one of them. Get thee out of the country. Mm -hmm. Right? And he ain't just talking about uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. You know what I'm saying? He ain't talking about trying to make you a city slicker. Right. It's prophetic language. Yes, Lord. And God wanted, he was, he wanted to change his background. Yes, yes. Amen. And country, and I told you guys, country means the boundary lines, the limitations, the familiar things. The comfortable things, the things that restrict us, the things that obscure our vision yes, Lord. and cause us to be stagnant in the things of the spirit. That's our, that's the country we have to come out of. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, that's some things we have to leave yes, so that we can cleave. Yes, we can't cleave until we leave. Yes, and that's the problem. Some of us are like Favreau. We got a good grip on something. <laughs> yeah, I really ain't feeling all of that, Pablo. You know, you gotta tell me what I need to do in this thing. Uh, yeah, I got a covenant with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because once you connect pleasure in it, oh, God. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't just, you know, some of y'all, when I say pleasure, the first thing y'all think is about century. Mm -hmm. It could be a house. Yes, sir. It could be a car. Yes, a yes. job. Come on now. It could be a house. That's right. yes, pleasure is diverse. Yes. First thing we want to think about is other stuff. Now, when I'm yes. talking about the things that you enjoy. Yes, sir. I'm all right. I know mean, you can enjoy, yeah, you get attached to it. How I many you know you can yeah. enjoy coffee? Come uh -huh. on <laughs> I mean, I mean, Starbucks. You can, you know, you can get up every morning. That's all, you know. That could be your vow, bro. I don't know. What's your vow? There's just certain things that we cleave to, and the spirit of God is trying to tell us, "I want to adjust you. I want to realign you." Because I don't want your your boundaries, your limitations, and your psyche to to usurp authority over the next season in your life. He's jealous. I don't know if y'all know that. Daddy is a jealous guy. And he wants every part of you. Not just some of you. I told this house many times. Remember what I always say? Huh? There you go. That's the difference between lordship. 
People talk about spiritual warfare. You know, I come out of, I'm a 90s baby, so I was I was raised in deliverance and spiritual warfare, pulling now. See, we're kind of a little, we're not as demonstrative as it was in the 90s. When you came into service, you go, Haka, Kota, Oka, Sata, Nina, Pull, Do, Pull. Remember that game? The other game, we should do it here too. We would, we, you know, we had them calisthenics in the middle of worship. You know, we broke more sweat than breakthrough. Because we thought the breakthrough was up. Yeah. And the breakthrough was in. The enemy camp is not out there. The enemy camp is not in the drug house. The enemy camp is right here. Yes, So we gotta uh, see. I told, that was a rat. Yeah. I'm trying to get back. <laughs> I told you. But we gotta get to that point to understand mm -hmm. yeah. that we gotta get out of our country yes. as a That's call, good. Good. Yeah. as a summoning from the Lord yeah. Yeah. to bring us out of those boundaries, mm -hmm. those barriers, those limitations, yeah. the things that restrict our walk. Yes. Won't allow us to attain the calling that God has yeah. for our yeah. life. Because this is a high call. It ain't just a calling. All of us was called. Yes, Lord. The whole church. Yes, God. You see, most of us say if I got a ministry or if I got an anointing. No, everybody was called. Yes, Lord. Now the ministry, the anointing is a part of the high calling. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. We were called out of darkness, but we were called into something as well. Yeah, preach, preach. That's good. That's good. <sighs> That's why we said that uh, something that was so powerful, Hebrews 11 and 15, look at it again, something that is so powerful to us. We got to get this. Tell your neighbor, you got to get it too. You got to get it too. Uh, you know, it's easy to have a, a write off, you know. Y'all know what we do write offs in church? Yeah. Yeah, when the you know, first thing you know, you got somebody you talk to on the phone, you look towards them. Oh I know that's going to work for her. You talk to them. No, nobody never did that. Right? <laughs> but I mean, no, we, we we sit around, we, we we sort through stuff, and we try to put old like we try to give certain scriptures to certain people, and then God is trying to tell you it's it's coming. <laughs> you just can't see it yet, but you want to put it on the next person. No, no, it's all good. Nothing to be refused. Try to help you out. Look at, look at this backdrop dealing with uh uh. Abraham, I, don't, I won't go to everything. I just want to clean this out. He says, and and see, that's the some reason some of us can't leave our country. If, and if truly, you know what? Go to is that fourteen? Let's go to fourteen because this sounds like it's a little a little chopped up. Let's let's make it clear here. Yeah, yeah. No, no, stay at fifteen. That's fine. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from which they came out, they might have had opportunity to return. Remember, we kind of specify that. Mm -hmm. If my mind is full of what I left, yes, sir. I may have opportunity to go back to what I left, mm -hmm. or go back to old systems, or go back to old behaviors, or go back to old boundaries, old limitations. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Most of the church, that's our fight. Well, our fight. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the church, you got to understand, we're not fighting to advance. We, we should be. We should have a fight to advance the kingdom. Yes, Lord. Because we can't establish the kingdom. Jesus does that. He builds it. Uh -huh. But we advance the agenda of the kingdom. But we're so fixated and inundated by the negative thoughts of the old season, we are still wrestling with the scriptures until our own destruction. Sir. My God. Because we're mindful of where we were. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And God wants to take us to a place in Him. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. 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 That's, what, that's what every preacher should. We should spend time trying to identify where you've been. Come mm -hmm. on. Amen. That's good. We shouldn't, you know, we don't need to be spiritual psychologists. Come on. <laughs> You know, or TMZ, you know, tabloid Christianity. Trying to get all the latest news and gossip about your life. Mm -hmm. yes. No, no, no. The blood took care of that. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Lord, yes. The blood 